Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for walking through this Alteryx Weekly Challenge with us. In this video, we're taking a look at Alteryx Weekly Challenge number 211. This is a great challenge for practicing parsing text using a variety of methods. So here we're going to clean up one cell of text with uh, about 300 individuals' uh, full names. And we want to clean this up, parse it out, and create an email directory, and then summarize that email directory. So the first step here, uh, we'll use a text to columns tool. And with each instance of a comma, we want to split to a new row. So this is a great piece of functionality from the text to columns tool. We don't know how many uh, instances we need to create. So we, by parsing to rows, we don't need to define a certain number of columns. Next up, we want to pull out the first letter of each user's record. And that's going to define both of the group as well as be part of each user's email downstream. So here we can use a really basic regex expression and point to any alpha character. And here the parse method allows us to create a new field. Um, again, using the regex tool, we'll point to the same field, but instead of an alpha character, this time we'll ask Alteryx to identify any digit that may be in the user field. This will help us to filter out any users that do not have a number. Uh, those are invalid users and we don't want them in the email directory. I'm going to assign a record ID to help us uh, trace the origins of each of these records. Um, ultimately for the last name I'm going to parse the data again and join the last name back in. But first we'll filter out any record where the number is uh, empty, so record 274 does not have a number, and we see that it has an NA value, so we want to remove that from our listing. So for the last name, as we look at each user, um, most users have two parts to their name, but record ID 7, Shannon Barry Thomas, has three pieces to her last name. So uh, we could solve this with regex. might be a little more straightforward to see by parsing and then using the summarize tool. So here we can use the summarize tool to group on record ID. So I want one instance per record ID. And we want to call forward the last item of user for each record ID. And we'll define this as the last name. So for Shannon Barry Thomas in record seven, we would expect to just see Thomas. Now that number seven that's present at the end of the text string, and if we look at the last name, we still have the numbers tagged with each person. And we could use a data cleansing tool. We could um, use some regex. In this case, I'm just going to pull forward a quick regex replace function for that last name. And then we're ready to join the last name into the data stream. And we're almost done. So joining on record ID, we'll pull through the last name from the right input. And before we create the emails, we need to make sure that the group is all uppercased. So we could run the uppercase function, could use the data cleansing tool. In the same formula tool, we can then create the email by concatenating text and taking the group plus the last name plus a static piece of text, which in this case is at testemail.com. can add that string inside of quotes. And now that we run the workflow, we have the email defined for all 299 of our valid users. And our last step is to summarize the results. So we'll group by the email grouping, which is that first letter. We'll concatenate the listing of emails. And then finally count the record ID. So the this challenge can be solved uh, a lot of different ways using a variety of parsing methods and regex. Hope you enjoyed following. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.